Hey, what is up everyone? My name is Prospect Z and today I got a quick video showing you how to fish inside of the new Australian Outback game, Dinkum. Let's get right into it. Fish are a great way to earn dink in the early game, but before you begin fishing, you'll obviously need a fishing rod like you see here. Um, this can be attained by John inside of his tent for 1,260 dink. Uh, dink is like the currency in this game. Um, for John to appear, you're going to continue the main storyline with Fletch. Eventually, she'll have you place down the visitor site as seen here. Once you go to sleep and wake up, John's goods tent will have appeared. Before you can purchase the fishing rod, you'll need to obtain the fishing license from Fletch for 250 permit points, which is relatively easy to get. Um, I'd recommend doing the daily challenges that Fletch gives you to obtain these. And you can upgrade your licenses as well as time goes on, but just worry about the base fishing license right now. In order to get the 1,260 dink, you need to purchase the fishing rod. I recommend using the bug net to catch as many bugs as you can in the first day and sell them to John for a nice little profit once his tent appears. You can see here by selling all these different bugs that I collected, I was able to obtain a little over 15,000 dink. After obtaining the fishing rod, you'll want to run over to the nearest river. To cast the fishing rod, you'll have to hold the left mouse button. The length of how long you hold will determine how far you cast the line. You'll see the bobber start to move up and down as a fish comes closer to it, but you're going to want to wait until the bobber goes fully under the water like you see here. You may be wondering what this little red bar in the top right corner is. As you can see, when you hold left click while the fish is running, the red meter will start to go down. Let the meter get all the way to the bottom, you'll lose the fish. So be careful. Don't hold the left click while the fish runs. The fish can be tricky sometimes and turn unexpectedly, but don't worry. As long as you let go of the left mouse button, as soon as you see it turn to run, you should be fine. Once you hook your fish, you'll want to quickly release the left click button. The key mechanic to reeling in a fish is to let left click go when it starts to run, as you can see indicated by the water starting to ripple. Once the fish gets tired, that is when you want to start to reel them in. But be careful as the fish can regain its energy and start to run away at any point. You'll battle the fish like this a few times until you eventually reel it in. But remember, the bigger the fish, the harder it will be to catch. Once you have captured your first fish, it's basically just rinse and repeat. Um, it may take you a few tries to get correctly, but fishing in Dinkum is a great way to earn Dink in the early stages of the game. As you can see here, I sold one fish for nearly 2,000 Dink. If you guys have enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please hit that like button as it greatly helps out the channel. And check out my other Dinkum videos. If you'd like to see any other Dinkum video, let me know in the description down below. Have a great one, guys. Peace.